An exhibition at the College of Our Lady of the Elms showcases photos of 20 extremely rare pieces of art. It tells personal stories of Auschwitz prisoners. It's an incredible opportunity for community members. Scott Hartblay is Associate Professor of Social Work at Elms College, and Susan Weiss Firestone is the President of the Jewish Federation of Western Massachusetts, and they join us to tell us all about forbidden art. Welcome, Scott and Susan. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What an incredible opportunity for us throughout New England to have this exhibit. Tell us about this exhibit, Scott. This is an exhibit from the Auschwitz-Birkenau State Museum in Poland. And the last place it was at before it came to Elms was the United Nations. And it's been throughout the United States and it's the first time that we have it in New England. So we're very happy to have the opportunity to have it here. Now what can people expect to see when they come to this exhibit? These are um, works of art, drawings and carvings of pr for prisoners who were at, at Auschwitz. Auschwitz was a combination uh, concentration camp and death camp and over one million people died there in the ovens and the gas chambers and uh, some people were able to kind of keep their humanity by doing art and the art was forbidden it wasn't allowed you weren't supposed to do that so that's th it was hidden they would work on it and, they, and then, then they would hide it how incredible that this has been preserved I mean and this exists and we can actually go and view it especially at a time when people were completely stripped of their identity and everything that was them except their self-expression that's right. That they were fortunately able to, to create. Now, Susan, I want to know about the Jewish Federation of Western Massachusetts sure. and, the, and really how this all came to be. Well, we had a terrific opportunity to partner between the, the Jewish Federation of Western Mass, the Elms College, the Kosciuszko Foundation, and the Polish Mission. And through a generous grant from the Harold Grinsman and Diane Trotterman Hatikva Holocaust Education Fund, we were able to help fund bringing the exhibit here, which, as uh, Scott mentioned, came directly from being on display at the UN, which was there particularly because we just observed the 70th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. And so it's very timely that we have it here at, at this particular time. So we were delighted to be able to help make that happen. Yes, timely, without a doubt, yeah. and also fortunate for us here in our community to be able to to learn from this and really go and experience this artwork. and. We were chatting earlier, Susan, mm -hmm. just about these pieces and really how, how special it is that people were able to express themselves at a time that was so, so awful. Yes. Um, to me, I think it's the, it was like an ultimate act of defiance for people. They, you can picture the unimaginable circumstances in the concentration camps where they were, people were stripped of their family, their home, their, the, even their identity because they were just reduced to a number by the by mm -hmm. the Nazis and so their ability to create art and also to bear witness to it so that for the deniers out there to bear witness to the fact that this did happen yes so I, it's a very powerful exhibit yeah I mean I can only imagine just walking through and seeing this artwork mm -hmm. how powerful it is now I do want to mention that it is on display at Elms College at the library until April 30th is that right that's Scott that's right yeah, we're, yeah. we are it's available for uh, people from throughout New England to come and look at it, and we're, we have uh, it's available for groups and their group tours. So it's schools are welcome to come through, especially yes, uh -huh. and or just come through on your lunch break when you're well, you're at work to see this. And what a, I think really the important thing is what a unique opportunity for us here in Western Massachusetts to have this. It's an op view. it's an opportunity to touch history. There were uh, six death camps in Poland established by the German Nazis to kill millions and millions of people. Auschwitz was a special one, and that was where they had the famous ramp that you either went to the left or the right, and if you went to the left, maybe you were sent right to the gas chambers. Well, Those that survived mm -hmm. lost their families and so forth, but then they were able to create this art. And artwork is so powerful. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us, and I know this partnership between Jewish Federation of Western Massachusetts and Elms College is just beginning. Looking forward to hearing more. Thank you, Thank Scott you. and Susan, for Thank joining you. us today. Thank you for having us. Amazing. Still to come on Mass.